name is Oluwami Dosumo Ogumbi, or just Wami. I want you to remember me as the University of Michigan's first black woman to get a PhD in robotics. So you have to underline that statement. DJ Paco Rich. Hello, my people. Welcome to the channel. My name is DJ Paco Rich. And if today is your first time watching my videos here, I'm going to encourage you to subscribe and become part of this family. Yes, popularly on this platform called YouTube. I am known as Mazi. Some they call me Otumba. Some they call me Siriki Siriki. Some they call me Eze. And I respond to all these beautiful names because it comes with a lot of love. And so, as usual, I mean, when it is good and it's about Nigeria, I take so much interest in because I have a lot of sources in Nigeria, producers, friends in Nigeria who we have good relationships. So when stuff like that comes, we definitely have to do and promote, you know, Nigeria to the fullest. Yes, it is as it is. Whether you like it or not, we definitely do it. And so... Um, big shout outs to my big brother in the UK. Yes, he's, let's say my uncle. His name is Mr. Ola. Yes, he's in the UK, but he's a Nigerian. And so he sent me a link of a very beautiful Nigerian woman. Um, she was born to a Nigerian immigrant parent, and so automatically we can confidently say she's one of our own. She's a Nigerian woman. She has done something. She's achieved something. It is worth sharing, and we have to scream about because as of now, there is no black woman who has been able to achieve that level of, you know, let's say that level of achievement she's done. And it, this is it. She is the first black woman to earn a UM dot dash M robotics PhD at the University of Michigan. And so this is something that it is going viral. But, you know, we have been more of entertaining people. when so sometimes when people are excelling in academic air areas, we don't blow the trumpet so much. But I have her speech and what she said is very inspiring. There is motivation in there. And so it will, be it will be very fair for me to share this with my audience, with my people, young people, young Nigerian. And so if you're a Nigerian parent, this is something you would like to show your daughter, your son, and tell them that regardless, they should forget about the negative things that people are saying about Nigeria and other African, that it is possible that a black man can, a black man or a black woman can achieve something like this. Yes. To be the first person to earn PhD in robotics from the University of Michigan, that's a big deal. You know it's a big deal. And so we have to shout and we have to shout louder. And so, guys, I'm going to share her speech with you. And then I would like everybody watching this particular video to put a correlation message there to her so that she can feel good of herself. I'll try if it's possible for me to, you know, I can get her on the, uh, social media to speak to her. That would be very great. I mean, to inspire her or to tell her that she's a great motivation to Africa and we are proud of her. And so this is her speech. What's up, class of 2024? Let me be the 137th person to congratulate you on this truly extraordinary achievement. My name is Oluwami Dosumo Ogumbi, or just Wami. And if you do not know me right now, that is okay. But I want you to remember me as the University of Michigan's first black woman to get a PhD in robotics. So you have to underline that statement. First black woman. First black woman. And I would say she's a Nigerian. Yes, she is a Nigerian. What is messing up with my focus these days? Charlie, anyways. But anyway, let's go with the speech. <laughs> My 
We did it, class of 2024. We can officially call ourselves Michigan engineers. As we celebrate this momentous occasion, I want us to reflect on why we chose to become engineers. For some, it may because, be because you like working with your hands. For others, you like tearing things apart and hopefully putting them back together again. I am here because I really, really wanted to wear this funny hat. <laughs> that is no joke. At my high school graduation, I saw one of my teachers in fancier regalia than the rest. In classic neurodivergent fashion, I hyper fixated on wanting to wear the same funny hat that she was wearing. When someone told me that I needed to get a PhD to wear it, I said, cool, I guess I'm going to get a PhD then. What are the field options? They responded, well, you are the child of Nigerian immigrants, so your options are doctor, lawyer, or engineer. <laughs> That is what they normally tell African kids. Doctor, lawyer, and engineer. But we'll do more. Trust me. So I thought about it. Well, I can't be doctor because I hate blood. Lawyer is out because I would pass out if I ever had to talk in front of a large crowd of people. <laughs> so I guess that just leaves engineer. Regardless of what spurred you down the path of becoming an engineer, you have made it to this milestone. We are engineers. More significantly, we are Michigan engineers. A Michigan engineer is one who does not just provide scientific and technological leadership, but also is one who is intellectually curious socially conscious, creates collaborative solutions to societal problems, and promotes an inclusive and innovative community of service for the common good. We each have a solemn duty to make positive contributions to the world. While my reasons for becoming an engineer were initially frivolous, they did eventually morph into something more meaningful. I want to have a positive impact on the world. I do not stand here on my own two feet alone. None of us got here by our individual merit alone. Whether it be teacher, family, friends, mentors, or role models, we each have one or multiple people to whom we are grateful for making this moment possible. I almost did not make it to the stage. In January of 2020, I had to leave my previous PhD program. I had worked so hard attaining honors, awards, and academic merit, and yet, I still failed. Thankfully, nothing else happened later that year in 2020 to make things exponentially worse. And I think this is something we need to pay attention in the, in the part of moving or seeking to achieve something. Failure will come your way. Challenges will come your way. You might have people who are drawing you back. You might have obstacles on your way. But there is only one option. You have to keep your head up and move forward. Do not give up. Give up would never be an option for us. Let's have that spirit. And I love something about this, our beautiful sister. Her confidence. The confidence that she has on her chest. And she speaks. Man... God bless you. But clearly, something positive eventually did happen. After all, I am standing on this stage. It was through the support of my faculty mentors, 
who saw my situation and gave me a second chance. I share this story to emphasize the critical importance for us to be socially conscious and promoting diversity, equity, and inclusion in our solutions. Remember the people in your lives who loved and supported you through your achievements. And I keep saying this, that when it comes to gratitude, when it comes to people who show appreciations, I have seen countless of Nigerians doing that. And that has opened a lot of doors to them. This is beautiful. This is great. This is great news we need to celebrate. We need to worship this sister for her achievement, for the pride that she has brought. She didn't just bring it to Nigeria, but she's the first black woman. Black woman. And that's a big deal. That is a big deal. First black woman. Congrats. Congrats, Wami. And um, if you haven't seen some of the pictures from her graduation, these are some beautiful pictures from her graduation. She is a legend. She has made us proud. And you can see all these smiles on her, her face. We are definitely proud of her. Wami, Wami, Wami. Yes. Wami, Wami. Great 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 for making africa great making nigeria making all of us proud we love you keep it up and i'm out of here guys let me know what you think about this beautiful lady and her achievement what she's done for us god bless you my name is mazi my name is otumba and i'm out of here bye bye <laughs>